In Laurel's historic district sits this modern building, the Heat and Frost Insulators and Allied Workers Building, or the Asbestos Workers Local 24. But before the building was remodeled last year, business manager Brian Cavey thought they would have to move out of the space. Our first thought was, we need to expand, we need more training space, we're going to have to go buy a building somewhere. Um, and started to look at some buildings around uh, and realized, wow, buildings are expensive. Um, so we got uh, in touch with a uh, construction consultant who came and met with us here and we walked outside and walked around and he said, why don't you expand here? So they expanded by adding 5,000 square feet to the building, supplied extra classrooms, and renovated the office spaces and the union's meeting hall. Former student, now instructor Jim Hoos is amazed by the new technology. It's overall a better experience whether coming to work. Um, everything's modern now. You know, it was 20 years old. We went from chalkboards to smart boards. Um, just the technology change is huge. And I think the apprentices, they, they can feel that too. And uh, I think they have more pride in the building and they're going to take care of it. The Union Building has been a longtime fixture in the community. Before the Union acquired the building in 1996, it served as a Laurel Volunteer Fire Department. It's kind of neat being in a historic district and especially when you find out some of the history that's been around. While this is a, an old, the old fire department and we didn't want to get rid of the shell of the old fire department, we're also in the 21st century and moving forward and new technology is a Great thing too. Although the modern building is located in the historic district, apparently the community has embraced a new addition to the neighborhood. Always had a very good relationship with all the neighbors here. You know, uh, they've watched our building for us. We've watched their, you know, their houses, you know, for them. Uh, I mean, if they need something, they come by and knock on a door. You know, ask us if they if we can help with this or help with that. KV believes the new space serves students and union members in the Baltimore and Washington, D.C. area better than the former space. Apprentices that come down from the Baltimore area, apprentices that come up from D.C., Southern Maryland, and it's, it's being centrally located, it's it, maybe not convenient for everybody, um, but it's the most convenient space that people could get to as easily as anywhere else. As you can see, this building definitely adds to the charm here in the historic district. If you would like to take training courses here, you can log on to insulators24.org to learn more. For Laurel TV, Stephanie Johnson.